Hey guys, this is Morgan with UniqueSquared.com. We are here at the Moog factory in Asheville, North Carolina. Amos is going to show us how to take advantage of the CV functionality of the Minotaur and the Moger Foger pedals. Another thing that I wanted to make sure to show was some of the amazing ways that you can use control voltage interactions between different Moog pedals and products. All of our gear has CV inputs or CV in and outputs, which you can use to interconnect and link the effects together to just multiply what they can do by, by an amazing degree. So uh, I'd already mentioned that I'm using pitch and gate control voltage from the sequencer to the Minotaur, but we're also going to hook in now control voltage inputs and outputs from the Mogerfogers as well. The Mogerfoger ring modulator has an output for the carrier oscillator that's giving it that ringing sound, you can take that voltage out of the ring modulator and plug it into any of your other effects with control voltage inputs for amazing audio rate modulations. So we'll start with this very plain sound here, add a little bit of resonance to the filter, and I'm now going to connect the ring modulator's carrier CV output to the filter cutoff frequency input here. And that gives you this very funky sound. And so now that we've got that sound dialed in, I can take the LFO output from the 104 here. Excuse me, this is a 102 ring modulator. Now that we have that dialed in, we can take the LFO output from the ring modulator and use that to control another parameter. Let's say the LFO amount on the 12 stage phaser. So now we've brought the phaser into the picture, but we're controlling how much of this effect is, is active using an LFO that's built into this effect. So these are cross-modulating each other and at the same time feeding back into the synthesizer. And it's this level of total flexibility, full bandwidth, audio rate modulation. This is the kind of stuff that brings computers to their knees and you just can't get it sounding as good. The best way to do it is in the analog domain and it's immediately apparent live and in recordings that you've taken the extra time and trouble to do the real thing.